with an advocate for the first time. As a teacher, what's the best way to handle this meeting? The same way you would have, handle any meeting. Um, I want you to like reframe when a parent brings an advocate. If you were selling your house, you'd probably get a realtor. If you were investing in the stock market, you'd probably get a broker. If you were doing any, if you were getting a new transmission, you'd probably get a transmission specialist. Why is it that it's so weird that a parent is bringing somebody to walk them through this process? So I would just go in there and say, I'm so glad to see you, Miss Cunningham, uh, Miss Smith, Miss Jones, whoever that is. We look forward to working together. I would email them and say, are there any questions I can answer ahead of time? Um, and we look forward to an efficient meeting. Remember, every meeting is about one thing. Not me, not you, not them. It's about the child with a disability. And when we say student-centered, um, we're going to mitigate some of those other things. People behave and speak and talk in a way that hurts other people's feelings, sometimes purposefully, sometimes not, because they're focused on what they're doing. But I do believe most people at the meeting are student-centered.